Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to some more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough. And yeah, uh, today we are going to be taking on Father, Owl, or Owl, Father, I don't know, whatever, whatever you're going to call it. But anyways, the, the jacked up version of Owl, I would say. I uh, really say, it, it doesn't get like a buff or anything like that, but his attack does change a little bit. And second stage, he gets... A little bit more stronger, I guess, because he has a new attack that I think it does a lot of damage. But I've never been hit by it before, so I don't exactly know how much it does. But it seems very devastating. But it's really easy to dodge as well. So anyways, uh, if this is your first time through, you can actually hear a dialogue from... Or you can kind of like choose to skip it and you can get some cheap hits in by just walking up to him right now and just, you know, fucking whack him. But for the sake of story, let's actually talk to him. Alright, he's throwing the thrusting attack, you can just Mikiti counter that. Alright, the unblockable. Sidestep. I don't know, he got hung up on the wall there. Try not to get try not to get your back stuck on the wall in this game. I mean in this fight. Cause um he has this move where he throws these fireworks and if you're backed up into a wall, it's you're pretty much fucked. This move right here, if you dodge it before the swing, you can actually get behind him. If you dodge too early, um, he'll actually change the way he, he does that move. He'll actually do a swing instead of a instead of an overhead. It's really weird and really cool at the same time, I guess. But, uh, right, he's gonna do a thrust, counter, and do some damage. I highly recommend you drop his health down to around 50% before like focusing on breaking his posture. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. You can see him rearing up for the thrusting attack when he does it. Behind him, try to get. Nope. You know, I was trying to get two hits in, but whatever. Nope. Missed. Sometimes you can get him while he was walking like that, all slow. You can like actually get a hit in on like his leg. Alright, firework, back up, and then if you're quick enough, you can actually run back in for an attack. Okay, since his health is below 50% now, we can actually focus on, uh, Breaking his posture. Oh shit, I thought I dodged it. I was getting all excited. Kitty counter. Just jump that. Come on. Let's see if we can get the leg hit. Nope. <laughs> Doing a lot of stuff there. Alright, first health bar down. The second health bar is more or less the same, except he has, uh, he has a few new moves. He has an owl now. He can actually fuse into it like that. And then you have to keep an eye out on the owl because then he'll pop out of nowhere. <laughs> After getting out of the owl. 
That's actually a pretty cool move. Oh, too bad I can't like summon a wolf and just merge into it. And look at that shit, he can just freaking phase into the owl. Like that, so he can he can actually get away from some of your attacks. And also that kick that he does for the backflip. Um actually he actually tosses shuriken now, so be careful with that. And that fire that he did with the owl, jump it and then he can counter his um thrusting attack because he always follows it up with that. I hate it. I feel like I'm getting cheated out of my my free hits there. Oh shit. I didn't want to clash with him. Jesus. I saw that coming. I couldn't... I don't know. I guess Sekiro didn't do the dodge in time. Anyways. Count on your ass. Boom. Okay, I thought he was going to do the shit again. I mean, I should again. Fireworks. Yeah, sometimes he even used the freaking fireworks too. He used like um a smoke screen. Oh shit! That was close because I was backed into the wall there. I right, jump it and be down. No. No spinning attack? Well, okay. I thought I was gonna do that spinning attack from the air thing. Okay, I saw that one. Come on, bitch. Oh, and you fucking disappeared. Okay, here we go. Punch that and come here. Most of the times, like when he hits me, it's with that freaking move that he does. The one with the fireworks, you no know, firecracker. That thing is so annoying. It's like I said, if you if your back is on the wall, this is like you're pretty screwed with that one. Still got my hits, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, shit. If you see him do that elbow attack, that means he's gonna do it. Thrust, counter, whack, should he can block. <laughs> Pretty through his posture. Oh shit. Best way to do like extreme posture damage to Owl and the Kitty counter right there. Shit, he disappeared again. No way, miss. Oh crap, I, I, it would have been bad if we actually clashed there. Oh shit, almost did it again. Oh boy, what are you doing? Send you out, yeah. End it that way. You're dead. Goodbye, father. without a single drop of rum. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Foster father. And we have the aromatic flower. 
this is this is a key item okay this is a key item if you want to get uh one of the alternative endings uh, where the fuck is that things over here there we go if you want to get one of the alternative endings this is required all right this is a must so yeah uh <laughs> that's it for now uh, in the next episode we will be going through how to unlock the secret ending or the true ending so we're gonna be taking on i guess great serpent kind of sort of i'll show you guys the whole thing about the whole great serpent um let's enhance our attack and also let's go ahead and uh, go back to the dilapidated temple and tell emma about our victory And then after after the whole unlocking the true ending thing, um, we'll take on a boss and then we'll head towards the final area or what I consider as the final area because um, after that you're pretty much at the end of the game. So I would say we're like around 75% 75, 75 done with the game now. Pretty close. There's actually not much battles to come. <laughs> There's only like what? Let me see. I think five boss battle left. So yeah. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So I thank you all so very much for watching and hopefully this video has been entertaining or enjoyable, hopefully helpful. Um yeah. Owl this owl is probably the third hardest boss in my personal opinion of the game so yeah this is probably gonna take you guys maybe a few tries maybe even more i don't know uh so yeah this is one of the boss i wouldn't consider easy because i had trouble against him uh when i first fought him so yeah anyways uh <laughs> that's it that's what i think about the boss uh hopefully you guys can get through it no problem uh if not don't give up uh, yeah, just, you know, keep on trying. Uh, anyways, enough talk. Let's end the video. I already said my outros, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I actually completed it or just left it hanging. But anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or enjoyable, hopefully helpful. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I will catch you all later, homes. Out.